What's up guys, Lifting here, themes are fun, and because of that, I am in this video going to showcase 5 lightning based build guides. That said, some of them also incorporate other elements, but you get the point. Before we begin though, I want to make sure to mention that I do not claim that any of these builds are per definition better or the best compared to other builds. There are simply too many determining variables in Path of Exile to make such a simplified judgement, at least in my opinion. However, any of these builds showcased all hold good potential and have great guides for you guys to check out. And each of these guides are updated and relevant to the currently running Abyss League 3.1. You can find a link to the guides in the description below. Build number one on the list is Contractor's Crit Stormcall Inquisitor. Stormcall has never really been super meta, but have had its periods of popularity. With the new spell cascade support gem, it was just a matter of time before someone made good use of it, like Contractor has done here. Spell cascade not only indirectly gives you a larger area of effect, but also allows the Stormcall effects to overlap if placed correctly, thus potentially dealing massive damage. The build is played as an Inquisitor to help with the crit chains and multiplier while also negating enemy resistances, including on bosses. This build delivers some incredible damage and is both an exceptional mapper and boss killer at the same time. With this build you get the whole package and you can do any content. Build number 2 on the list is by Paige and it is her budget friendly Lightning Tendrils cast while channeling Glacial Cascade. With Lightning Tendrils receiving some much needed attention in 3.1 and being turned into a true channeling skill, people have been experimenting with various setups. One of these is Paige's cast while channeling Tendrils build that procs Glacial Cascade for an additional damage boost. Similar to Contractor's Templar build, this is also played as an Inquisitor for better crit stats and that resistance negation. While there are faster and tankier builds out there, a big part of this build's strength lies in how cheap it is to get going and become functional for mapping. According to Paige, you can gear the necessities for around 30 chaos and then you should be good to go. Now that of course also depends on how good you are at finding the right deals, but you get the point. I'm unsure if Paige has attempted any endgame bosses such as the Shaper, Elder or Guardians, but I know that she has been doing tier 15 plus maps with various dangerous map mods and the build has been successful in doing such. Furthermore, Paige has a very well written and easy to understand guide making it an easy build to get into. The third build on the list is Bashtarch Spark Inquisitor. Yes. You heard right, Spark is back in the game and it is even a self-cast Spark build that Bashtart has put together here. For a long time I've been curious about the new Spark Threshold Jewels but I never really got to try it out for myself. Fortunately Bashtart took the leap of faith and produced a pretty good build that has loads of mapping potential. And it's pretty good at dealing with bosses too actually. <laughs> and now as you guys might have guessed, yes this build is also played as an Inquisitor. For the same reasons as previously stated, you know, resistances, crits, etc. Let's not go over that again. Bashtark's build uses Spark for fast map clearing and has a dedicated Blade Vortex setup for single target bossing, making it a versatile build that can do pretty much anything. Coming up fourth on the list is Chris's instant life leech wild strike berserker build if you can get accustomed to the whole name locking thing for wild strike it is an incredibly satisfying skill to use it does of course not only deal lightning damage but also cold and fire damage but it's the lightning part that feels really good for this build chris decided on using the bloodseeker claw together with the berserker ascendancy for that old school instant leech potential this makes the build indirectly very tanky while also providing a ton of damage via the 40% more damage multiplier gained from the Berserker. According to Chris, the only thing that can really kill this build once probably geared is one-shot mechanics as you otherwise will be able to leech back to full life instantly, faster than the enemies are able to deal damage. So yeah, very much like the old days with Volpact and Berserker leech. 
The belt can do any constant in the game, including the Shaper. This is the type of Wild Strike belt that manages to combine defense and offense into one balanced belt. The fifth and final build on this week's list is by Sirenian. And I'm really not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct. And if I'm not, I apologize. But it is his famous, for good reason, Lightning Strike Raider. This build focuses purely on scaling Lightning Strike via elemental damage and is being played as the Raider for some exceptional attack speed and damage. You can see it from this footage, but Lightning Strike just had its uh, graphics updated and it looks much crisper and better now but that really isn't what's important i guess what matters is that this build absolutely destroys constant any constant for that matter it's a fast map clearer and even a great boss killer which contrary to popular belief isn't really something lightning strike excels at typically well serenian's build is the exception to that Now, before we end, I have a final build I want to mention. It's Inky's Arcwitch Beginner and Solo Self Found Friendly Build. I featured this build before in my 5 Great Starter Builds video, but because of Inky's very well written guide, composed build, and thematic relevancy, I felt it was worth showcasing once again. I won't go into details, but suffice to say, Inky's build is an exceptional build to try out if you're new to the game. Partly because he greatly explains everything about the build in depth in his forum guide and partly because it's just an easy build to start with. Consider checking it out. That's about it for this week's build showcase. If you liked it and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my Twitch for those live streams. You can find the link below. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions as for themes or types of builds you would like to see showcased. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?